If you love being scared, this could be the night of your life. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sea Mexican Show where I just had the pleasure of watching another 1985 horror movie. And this time, it is my first viewing and I'm excited to provide you a both classic review and my initial reactions to this film. Back in September, I created a list of Halloween-themed movies to watch throughout October. The majority of these selections fall into the horror-adjacent or light horror c- category. I aim for films that are not overly terrifying, yet I've been eager to dive into a proper 1980s horror movie. My choice for this experience was Fright Night. Fright Night is a 1985 horror comedy film directed by Tom Holland. The story revolves around Charlie Brewster, a teenager who becomes convinced that his new neighbor, Jerry Dandridge, is a vampire. When Charlie's friends and family dismiss his claims, he seeks help of Peter Vincent, a former horror movie actor who hosts a late night TV show about the supernatural. As Charlie and Peter investigate, they uncover more evidence of Jerry's vampiric nature, putting themselves in grave danger. The film takes a thrilling and humorous turn as Charlie and Peter attempt to outwit and defeat the seductive and deadly vampire next door. Fright Night combines the elements of horror, humor, and suspense to create an entertaining, iconic vampiric tale. The cast includes Chris Sarandon as Jerry Dandridge, William Ragsdale as Charlie Brewster, Amanda Burst as Amy Peterson, Roddy McDowell as Peter Vincent, and Stephen Jeffrey as Evil Ed Thompson. My thoughts after the movie is, uh, is that I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoy the setting. It's the 1985 setting was fantastic, and it's, it's a delightful treat to the eyes. And another highlight for this film that I really enjoy is Charlie and Peter Vincent's uh, uh, chemistry. Uh, as partners in crime, they are very enjoyable, but also kind of, you know, like a like a mentor mentee thing. Even though it, it, it's not, but it's really enjoyable to watch them play off one another as well. Another highlight for me is Chris Sarandon's portrayal as the vampire Jerry Dandridge. Quite impressive. Also, very has has that uh, that vampiric charm and menace to him so I really enjoy and also believe that he is a a vampire so for me I liked it as well and the other highlight of this film that I really enjoy is the gore effects like it's minimal actually Uh, the one when with uh, Evil Ed was turned into a vampire that is actually quite good the uh, one of the thrall of Jerry Dandridge I forgot his uh, his uh, name but he was pretty good in it as well. Like uh, his death was gruesome as well. It was oozing with a lot of blood and pus and stuff. And so for me, I go, oh, that's horrifying. But you still keep on watching it, and and I st- I really really enjoyed it. So for me, uh, that was another highlight as well. And uh, I give this uh, Fright Night. A high matinee watch. I recommend it, uh, recommend this movie towards uh, people who want to watch a really good classic, a modern sorry, a modern modern vampire movie. This is it, and that's a wrap of for today's video. I want to hear your thoughts on Fright Night. Do you have any nostalgic memories associated with this film? Please share your experience with this film by leaving a comment below, and stay tuned to the next video.